unless whatever night that was, that Tyrese was probably going to play on mm -hmm. whenever Saturday is that. Yeah, he'll fully practice today, so contact everything. So he's good. He's good to go. What do you? What can he bring Saturday that was lacking on Tuesday? I mean, I think a lot from the standpoint of, you know, we turned it over almost 20 times. Uh, you know, we weren't in our offensive rhythm like, you know, we have been at times with him out there on the floor. And, you know, decision-making and play-making, you know, he just puts a, a guy out there. I mean, he's going to play 38, 39 minutes that can make decisions. And you look at his efficiency and his usage rate, it's, it's off the charts, and he's been really good. Um, and so you just put a really good player <coughs> in the fold, and so that obviously will help. What's the, I guess, mental space of the team right now when you have a loss like that? Does it take a while to, do you need a game to wash that away? Or well, we were off yesterday. Uh, so yesterday was really, for me, it was, you know, work as usual. You know, you watch the tape that night, you get up, uh, you prepare for TCU, you watch them all day. Um, and then the guys around the facility shooting shots. The guys were here this morning shooting. They're lifting right now. I just popped in my head in there. Intensity is really good. You go back to work. I mean, you go back to work, and and you do it what the way you've done things when you've won big games and had great moments. You know, we're not doing anything different. This is just that was obviously a bad moment. Um, you got you got to you got you got to handle it. You know, you got to handle it. You got to you got to move forward, and, and you, you know, you'll always you'll always be there. But you know, we got we got to get to work. We got TCU. Uh, this this business things can flip quick. You know, uh, from one game to the next, and we we got to be ready to get to work. And then we've had four or five guys already in here shooting. We had several guys in here when I was upstairs yesterday watching tape downstairs. And so, uh, you know, we'll talk about it a little bit, but then we got to get ready for TCU and uh, got to get Tyrese back out there. We got to get ready to get to work. And can that type of loss end up having a positive effect long run wise? Talk about guys coming in. Maybe a few more guys could save themselves. Hey, I got to put in the next minutes above what I've been putting in. The next yeah, time. I mean, I mean, it, it makes you look at a lot of different things when you, when you lose a game like that. But uh, I mean, that's it's part of college basketball too. I mean, it's, it's there's there's I mean, you could run off 10, 15 games like that right now. And so, uh, but it's unacceptable and it's inexcusable. I get all that, uh, but we got to get to work. I mean, I mean, there's no going home and feeling sorry for yourself. You go home and you watch the tape and. You see what we have to continue to harp on, and it's it's, it's some of the same big things that you know rear its head. It's you know pace on offense at times. It's rebounding. You know down the stretch we didn't rebound the ball well, um, and then you get to work. And like I said, if, um, you know, the only thing is you know you, you hear from you, you you know you're going to hear from on nights like that, or you hear from everybody when you win in Kansas. But that's that's life. And so you got you got to handle it. You got to you got to man up. And uh, these are great challenges, and uh, helps me as a coach, helps them as you know, young young adults, and that's part of life. Who do you hear from? Is that reinforcement or the flip side on night side like Tuesday? You said you know who you're going to hear from. No, what I'm saying by that is like when you have a big win, shoot, you have 240 text messages in you win in Kansas. When you have a tough night like that, the people that you know that that are down with you and that know what you're about, they're just going to say, hey man. Just continue to do what you want, you know, and that that that's all I mean by that. And um, but that's uh, but it's a small circle in this business anyway, and in this in this world really. Can you comment anything on the Dudley Blackwell stuff that's going on? Right there? What's out there about Dudley? That he may be thinking about rethinking his commitment once out of his national letter because of his of a family situation or. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know anything about that. Uh, if you if you read that on the internet, that's news to me. Um, you know, I mean, I talked to Dudley this morning, his mom this morning. You know, through text. Uh, my assistant talked to him the other day. Uh, he has moved back to Florida, to go mm -hmm. to high school down there because of a, you know, a, a situation right. with his family. But that's there's no more than that. He's but still I good here. To I mean, the he best signed, of your knowledge. To the best of my knowledge, he signed to play at Iowa State. What uh, did you go with Tyrese? Tuesday. Sorry, not, not Tyrese. Tyrese. Sorry, Tyrese. <laughs> um, I just wanted to let him know I believed in him, give him an opportunity. Um, I didn't think there was much difference between which one you went with. Um, I wanted to give him a, a really opportunity to to produce.
loose and, and, and play and make an impact. And so, you know, I kept him out there and, and I started him and was trying to just give him some confidence. What more did you see from Sullivan and Michael as you were We got to rebound. I mean, you, you can't, you can't, you can't rebound. You know, we can't have those guys. You know, not, they only played collectively maybe about 40 minutes the other night, but they can't have those rebounds. I mean, that's just, I mean, they, they know that. We all know that. I mean, you heard the statue know that. They got to rebound. I said, everybody watches offense and evaluates offense because we all think we know what offense should be like, right? But this program, I was talking to this guys today, this program for years has won different ways. You know, Fred won with, you know, tremendous offensive ability. And, and, and Tim Floyd and Larry Stacy won by gritting their teeth, you know what I mean, and, and being fun and sound defensively. And so there's a million ways you win, but everybody just watches the offense. And so, uh, you know, I got off on a tangent there, you know, got away from the question, you know, but uh, we need, we need to rebound. I mean, that's the bottom. We got to rebound better. You know, we got to rebound better. We got to defend the paint better. Uh, the offensive part, that's the least of my worries. You know, we all want to talk offense, and I do too, probably too much, but that's really okay. That's what we need. We need to rebound. We need a double figure rebound guy. You know, we need a guy at the top of the league and rebound. You know, uh, we got it in block shots. We need to rebound. We need to make people miss, and then we got to go get it. Go get it out of your area. What do you see from KCU? I mean, they're good. I mean, Jamie's team's always they're going to they're going to defend you. You know, they only give up about sixty points a game. They play four guards. They put four guys out there that can really shoot the basketball. You got to defend the three. You got to defend pick and roll. Uh, they're not complicated. It's about four, five things you're going to see for forty minutes. At the end of the day, you got to get back in transition. You got to defend pick and roll. Uh, we got to contain him out in, in the paint. You know, we got to finish plays. You know, we got to do a great job in Desmond Bain. Obviously, he's having he's got an efficiency chart like, like Tyrese with uh, in the way he's shooting the ball from three. He's rebounding it, assisted turnover. But they put four or five guys out there that that are four to one assisted turnover ratio guys. Excuse me, two to one assisted turnover ratio, but averaging about four assists a game. And so that part's impressive. But they're they're up with us when you look at assisted turnover ratio, turnovers per game. And so we've got, you know, we've got to do a really good job defending ball screens in the half court, and that's what it really going to come down to. Do you have any overarching thoughts on the Big 12 as, you, as, as a whole? Oh, uh, I've watched it a little bit. Obviously, Kansas is really good. West Virginia had a great win against Ohio State, and, and they look, uh, you know, like Cogan has a back where they, they as expected to be. Baylor's been really good. Uh, other teams in our league make great wins, but, you know, I think it's kind of like, you know, from there, you don't, you don't know where the league's going to shake out. And so you play one game in the league and then you get ready for the next game. Because as you say, you can lose two in a row, you can win three in a row. And so you just got to be focused. You got a game at T get, get TCU and be locked in. But, you know, I think our league's had great wins with that tough losses. Uh, you know, we just we just got to get back to being the team that <coughs> played St. Paul here from a competitive and toughness. toughness you said Tyrese would be full go at practice. I mean, probably not anything like a minutes restriction on Saturday that you wouldn't anticipate? No. <laughs> no. However many are in the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks.